All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 series where today we are of course still playing as the Principality of Amalfi with our now 61 year old Grand Prince Rodwald the Wise and today my friends I am in a wonderful mood, a truly wonderful mood because just before starting up the episode I decided to go and check up on our potential future heir, Adam only to realize that at the end of the last episode, I didn't catch it, but he came of age. Oh yeah, there he is, our now fully grown Adam Morrow, and look at these freaking stats. Oh my god, they're wonderful. It's just, it, it just makes me so happy, guys. We have not had an heir this good in a while, especially considering our last couple of people that we've had um <laughs> die off quickly. Oh, poor Jocelyn. But yes, we now have an impressive heir who did come of age, getting some pretty nice stats. Besides these up here, he got Brilliant Strategist, which is always helpful. He got Aggressive Leader, which is good. He was already a genius and ended up being Brawny patient a little bit paranoid which i mean that's not too bad that it just improves the intrigue so yay and surprisingly content content which um eh, i mean he won't be once he is the ruler because we gonna conquer a lot of things oh my god especially with those military skills imagine how good he'll be at commanding armies which, I mean, could also get him killed in the line of battle, but look at the stats. They would be glorious. Oh, he's gonna make me happy. He is going to be our next great conqueror of kingdoms, or at least that is my hope. Now, I already did go and send him the uh, request to become my, my uh, designated heir, so hopefully once we unpause, that does take... But I uh, did want to go over just a few things. A little reminder, guys. Of course, we are still at war with Essex over here. Which I find hilarious that Essex somehow gained land on mainland Europe in the middle of France. How did that happen? I don't know. But we're going to be taking this, I believe, from him is the one we're trying to steal for some reason. I don't even exactly remember why we're doing this. But we are. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. And we're, of course, winning, so that makes me even happier. I'm tempted to buy some more mercenaries, simply because I can. I have the money. But uh, I'm kind of also thinking maybe we wait and see if we can win with just these guys. I don't know. I don't know, though. But interestingly, I decided to go look at the British Isles. And yeah, Essex seems kind of small there, but with this new stuff, that does give them a bit more power. And interestingly... Munster has taken southern southern England. What the what, uh, Ireland? What what are you doing? <laughs> Go and take the rest of Ireland, you fool! But it does look like the big power over here is Scotland, which I find amusing. And England is now a one county minor. Look at that! That is all they have. At least I think that's all they have. Yeah, just the county of Norfolk there. <laughs> oh, England, I kind of want to conquer you just so I can say I have conquered the Kingdom of England. Though, what I also want to conquer just because I find it hilarious is, um, Iceland is independent. Or, well, it's Ostisland, is, if I'm even pronouncing that slightly correct. But yeah, look at that. They're their own little chiefdom up here. I mean, it's two really, really crappy counties with only a single village on each and only one potential thing to build. But still, I kind of want them. <laughs> I kind of I kind of want that. Because then when we do move over to EU4 with this game and convert it, it would give us access to the northern part of America quite quickly for colonization, while our plans down here for taking, you know, all of this, hopefully, will give us access to the Caribbean. So we could attack America and colonize it from two fronts. We could become what Spain was, or at least tried to be. And I think that would be fun. We could rule all of America. All of it. From Iceland. <laughs> Or Ostisland. Ah, yes, yes. I want to conquer it. I want to conquer it. <laughs> How to get a claim there? I mean, besides just throwing my uh, guy up there to fabricate a claim, which I think would be hilarious. But uh, does he have any friends? 
Dude, no, he has zero packs, so it would be an easy win. Oh my god. I, I want to conquer Iceland. Huh. You know what? You, 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 know, you know what? I don't know how long this guy's going to live for. Maybe we do it. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, who knows? If I could get the claim in this guy's lifetime... Maybe we do it. <laughs> Let's fabricate a claim. <laughs> oh my god, look at his poor tiny little shield. It's all that there is there. Oh, 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 that is how tiny his power is, is that itty bitty little thing. Which of these counties is actually better? Supply limit 7.12k, supply limit 9.5k. Base tanks 2.25, 2.03, fort level... Eh, this one has a better supply limit, but this one has a better city with more money. Well, I'm going to place a claim here. <laughs> Let's do it. If we can do it in this person's lifetime, we're going to go for it. <laughs> so I just think it would be hilarious. Oh, oh, but look at his tiny, tiny little shield. <laughs> uh, I guess his is tiny too, but I mean... It's the Faroe Islands there. It's not exactly a large territory either. Though producing more tax money than Iceland is. Hmm. All right, well, let's go back to our war with Essex before we go and conquer Iceland just for the hell of it. <laughs> okay, back to war and on pause. And come on, get over to your thing and kill him. Lovely, a beautiful little battle. Excellent. Siege the territory. Take it from the enemy. Man, I still just love how all the tiny little shields we have here. It was quite the county. Bandits have raided my thing. Oh, no, that's the siege camp. Ha! <laughs> yes. Oh, France is in another revolt. Ha! You fools. Uh, planning to open foreign trade routes. Oh, the King of England. I demand money. That pirate. Can I go to war with him? <laughs> Can I offer him vassalization? Oh, no. That's unfortunate. That pirate. I wish I could attack people for that. For not giving me money. Eh, oh well, what are you going to do? Hey, but we got a trade ship coming in. Beautiful. Okay, siege is won. We're up to 57%. Nope. Oh, little army moving. Oh, they have a bigger army. The price of decadence. The ruling dynasty of Sharo Shadum has been overthrown by the zealous, hard-living tribesmen of the Gilan dynasty. Former vassals may seize this opportunity to declare dependence. Bloated fools. Well, he's got an army moving there. It's biggin', but he's moving away. Interesting. Should I buy more mercenaries? <laughs> I mean, I've already got a crap load of them, but I could always afford more. What am I on right now, money-wise? Plus 16? Oh my god, yeah, let's buy more mercenaries. <laughs> oh, even a small amount of money, and uh, instantly I go, oh yeah, let's buy more, cool. Uh, b -b 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 let's find one that's fun. Eh, 25, we could, we could work with you. <laughs> Actually, a 13 one wouldn't be too bad. That would still leave us technically making profit. Ha 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 ha. But maybe another. Oh, I'm already hiring you. Ha! And you, I believe I'm hiring most of the mercenaries at the moment. <laughs> well, at the very least, all the good ones. Yeah, let's go back to that 13 one. We'll buy that one. Where were they? Hire! There we go. Beautiful. All right, they're down here. Do I want to send them in boats? Since it's a small army. 1,600? Hmm. Yeah, let's send them in boats. It'll go quicker. Oh, my God. I don't need that many boats. Uh. <laughs> I don't even need... Well, we'll take this one. You go away. Yeah. Oh, we won't let really me split that one up anymore. Oh, well. We'll take that one then. You! Get on the overly large amount of boats and make your way up here to help. Beautiful. Beautiful. Unpause. 
Oh, crap. I was wondering what was going on with the Adam thing. Oh, hello. My wife is pregnant again. Even though I've made him my heir. Damn it, it's doing it again, guys. It's doing it again. He's my heir, though. He He's in my court. He should be my heir. It's doing it again. We're getting this stupid bug once more, and that very much annoys me. This guy should not be my heir anymore. I was wondering because we hadn't got the little pop-up thing saying that we would be losing respect or the campaign, but uh, actually <laughs> with our current competitors, uh, I think we'd be fine. But no, it's not taking him as my damn heir, which doesn't make sense. He's in my court. All right, I mean, he's in my court somewhere in here. Did I pass him, or is he not in my court? Perhaps I need to invite him to my court then. But no, he should be in my court already. We're gonna take vows. No, definitely not. No, yeah, I don't have the thing to invite him to my court, so no, he's he should already be here. Oh god, maybe he's not. Because we're not at peace. But no, he should be in my damn court. But yeah, I'm not seeing him in it. I assumed he was, considering he had no territory. But I, well, let's filter name. Yeah, he, um... Oh, there he is. He's right there. Adam Morrow. He's in my court. I have designated him my heir. Why is that not working? God damn this game. This is now twice that it's done this to us where it is messed up on the designated heir part. Crap. Uh, guys in comments, please, if you have any suggestions, I am all ears because th this has happened again in our... Our solution to the problem and what has worked up until now was making sure that he was in our court. He's in our court. So why is he not taking the air position? I don't know. I really don't know. So now an episode that I started off tremendously excited and happy. I'm now highly annoyed. God damn this game sometimes. I swear, it just hates you. It just hates you as the player. <laughs> oh, but no, this has happened to us before, and it makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense that we designate an heir and that it doesn't take. Can we kill him? Get rid of him, maybe? <laughs> I want Adam as my heir, damn it. He's good. You are sieging, right? Why doesn't he appear to be sieging? Um. Interesting. Yeah, he doesn't appear to actually be doing any sieging. Well, what the hell is going on with the game then? <laughs> Go back. That is clearly where we are fighting. In fact, that is where we are fighting for. Well, there we go. Now he's sieging. Oh, Jesus. How long has he not been sieging for? Oh, God, he's coming into fight. Uh, you unload. We're gonna get him in this fight. Make sure he gets in. And then we jump him. No, oh, damn it. No, he was just running away. <laughs> All right, perfect. When well, we have that, at least. You go back to Barcelona. Mm hmm. So he's heading there. We have our troops. So we have a good 18,000. I think we'll win. So now I am just... Oh no, we lost one of our people in prison. Damn. Now I'm just annoyed by the... You're moving, right? Why aren't you moving? Hey! Okay, so... <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but it finally took with the air thing. Oh, my freaking crap. Finally. All right, good. And we had a daughter. Or wait, no. To Sean. Sean Krim, one of our patrons. Congratulations. You, you've, had, you've had a lovely daughter. 
<laughs> oh, oh, no, I've had one too. Hold on. Okay, so I've had a daughter? Just everyone's having daughters. <laughs> Okay, and who what to what poor male name should I give this poor lady? <laughs> okay, I don't think we've used this one in a while. We'll go well at least oh god, have I? What are my other kids named? And, uh, uh, no, I think we're good. I think we're good on this name. I don't think we've used it for a while. We'll just go with the first name. <laughs> There we are. <laughs> Emil, you are now... Oh, God, did I actually... Now that I come to think of it, did I make Emil a daughter last time? <laughs> that I named some one of my kids that? Oh, but thank crap, we got our Adam as our, our, uh, our guy now. I don't know what in the hell is going on with this game, though. Why did it take so long for it to pop? He is unmarried, though. I should probably get him a wife. Got another siege, beautiful. Is that all the sieges there? That is all the sieges there. Attack here! Yes. Yes, go after more of Essex. And why does he also have so many Essex territories in these counties? I don't know, but I want them. I want them. All right, we'll go for this. Um, Anyone just like immediately in court that would be beneficial? Well, I mean, perhaps we should marry... Uh, I should find him a marriage that could get us an alliance. Oh, God, that means spending time finding that. Oh, boy. I'm never good at that. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, he's trying to take a thing. Oop. Oh, oh, the host invasion. I forgot that was happening. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was um, up here. It is, it is 1185 now, isn't it? Okay, pause. Where is he? Seriously, where is he? Is that him? No, that's an Aquitanian revolt. Oh, wait, no, no, I think it's a host army too. Yes, it's a host army. Uh, those are the primary ones. <laughs> okay, okay, lovely. Well, we're going to kill them. Time to raise our actual army now. Our mercenaries have served us well, but... Oh, are they coming for here? Oh, they're coming for here. Yes, yes, he's coming for Spoleto. I'll wait. <laughs> I mean, he's he's popped in Aquitaine. He's gonna have to come down this way. I mean, he might try to siege out some of my territories, but that seems like a waste for him to be over here when he has to go all the way to Spoleto. Hmm. First, though, we kill you. Adieu. And half of you. Yes, this half. We move in. Pincer maneuver. Take him on two sides. Kill him. Kill him good. Perfect. Be a good military victory for us. While he still sieges. Good. Good. And victory. That got us a lot of points there. Alright, we'll send that army back that way. You back to there. And, yeah, it looks like they are just going to start heading towards Spoleto. Beautiful. All right, let's raise our army. Okay. Oop, hello, what is this? Oh, I was still clicked on an army and they're now sieging. Ha! Yes, yes, that is a thing. You two, recombine, please. Oh, you guys did a thing. You're now, um, did a peace thing. Oh, good for you. Okay. Oh, God. Did he take more territory? He did. He did. He took Malta. You. He's growing his power base. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> we should probably raise our army, though. Considering they are coming. They are on their way. Ooh. Italian Liberation Revolt. Hello. Well, I've got this army here. Let's, um... Yeah, let's just get everyone up. Everyone join! <laughs> oh, God, I forgot about the boats here. Oh, you know what? You go pick up him. Oh, God, that means those boats have been costing me money. Money I could have been spending on more mercenaries. Or more boats. 
All right, you go there, meet in Amalfi. You know what? I'm gonna pick you up with the fifty. <laughs> uh, you. Yeah, we'll grab your boats. Actually, go here. Pick them up. So that boat, those boats, I'll pick up you and you, and bring everyone here. You guys all organize there. You too. Oh, no, 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 not you, Big Stack, not you, Big Stack. You stay in Amalfi for now. You're a biggin. Okay, okay. Oh, child lack of educational focus. John Von Basslake. <laughs> uh, one of my kinsmen. Wonderful. What to go with for him? Well, he's clearly lacking in intrigue. He better not stab me one day. He probably will. <laughs> All right, unpause. Okay, guys, and we are back after a quick little crash, which is odd. We actually haven't had this game crash on us in a very, very long time, and thankfully, it was not Crusader Kings' fault. It, in fact, was NVIDIA. Right as we were finishing, I believe, the Siege of Mortain over here, NVIDIA drivers came up and went, Hey, you want to upgrade right now? I was like, no, no, go away, you fool. And it crashed my game. So, yes, thankfully, of course, there are autosaves in this. And the last autosave was the 1st of January, 1185. So, the, um... The host army, there's the words, the host army has not popped yet, they still will be coming in a few months, and we've lost a little bit of time, unfortunately. That is sad, we basically lost just a couple of months to uh, what we were doing. That army has been offloaded. Oh, we haven't killed him yet. Oh, alright, well you, well, now that I know I'm going to have to go pick up people, go to Corsica. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Okay. And let's unpause. Now, thankfully, I did already check. Adam is still our ruler, so that happened before the autosave, which is good. But yeah, we've just got to pick back up a little bit of time. Oh, Pope, are you still doing that whole anti-papal war thing? Yeah. Sheesh. Crazy you. Ooh. Hey, we got some more gold. Well, good thing we did have a crash. <laughs> we are a hundred gold rich. Oh, the child. Oh, I didn't remember if that was uh, happened when we came or not, or before the crash. So, well, back to the same name. Let's just do that. And perfect. We have named a child once again. Alrighty. Uh, it does suck that uh, it crashed on us, but oh well, that is a good thing that it does have those autosaves. So we didn't fall too far back. We didn't have to basically restart the episode, because that's what I was afraid I'd have to do when I was returned to desktop. Oh my, I had the sudden horde realization of, oh god, was all that for nothing? But no, no, thankfully, autosave. Alright. Oh, yeah, I can't split you up again, can I? I was thinking maybe split him and send him over there, but no, 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 he's doing his job. Hey, we got more time before the, um, the host invade. There's the host invasion. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like that happened afterwards last time. Cool, cool. All right, well, let's hit okay and okay. Let's zoom up here. And that means move you over here, which hopefully should bait the other guy in so we can kill him again. Because that would be nice. I would I would like to have him dead again. And, you know, get us a lot more war score. Oh my god, is his, is his host army smaller? I think it is. I think he had like over 10,000 last time. I could be wrong though. In fact, I probably am incorrect. But, you know, oh well. Let's just take care of this real quick. While I remember. Go and kill people. Go and kill. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's going to be so easy to defeat now if that's all he had. I remember him having more people last time. I don't know, though. I don't know. That has been lost to the sands of time thanks to an NVIDIA driver update. Oh, oh God, what's this? This is new. This is new. Uh, your experience in matters of war. Oh, hey, we got better at battle. Cool. 
So, do we want flat terrain expert, cavalry leader, light foot expert, or heavy infantry? Do I have any things right now? No, just dutiful clerk. Or cleric, rather. Not clerk. <laughs> uh, well, we have a lot of light infantry. Actually, we have a lot of heavy infantry, too. You know what? Um, heavy infantry. Cool. Cool. All right, so that battle won. <laughs> hey, and we captured someone this time. Wiston. <laughs> you fool. All right, so you go back there. Oh, wait, no. You, you, you go there. You go there. There we go. I had my two armies mixed up for a moment. Okay, so he's getting on his boats. Yeah, I, I seriously remember him being a bigger army last time. I could be wrong, but, oh well, he'll be easier to kill. Okay, so let's raise all of our people and start organizing for our counter-assault again. All right, here we go. You get in the boat, and you go pick up them. You get in the boat. Well, spawn the boat first, then get in the boat. All right, you, you, and you all up here. I'm actually going to wait to move you, because maybe we can pick you up on my crap load of boats as well. I mean, it's a, don't want to just have my boats going to waste. I've picked up enough of them. <laughs> uh, well, you go here for now. Yeah, yeah, we'll just pick up both of you on those. That should work. That should work just fine. And we're back to the childhood focus. Ah, yes, John Von Basslake. This is right where the game crashed last time. Well, right after this was, I think. And I think I was giving him intrigue. Beautiful. Oh god, you know what I'm gonna do? Cause it did crash like immediately after this. Let's let's save. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. There we go. Alright. So perfect. We're good. Hopefully then we won't lose quite so much time and we'll be able to kill our enemy. Okay, good, good. Happy days. Are you moving? Yeah, you're moving. Lovely. Alright, everyone do their thing. Oh, bless. They're running away. <laughs> you fools! Ah, we're about to have another siege over here. Perfect! Oh no, the Pope died! He's, he got a new Pope. Oh man, that means I don't have him in prison anymore. Hey, new Pope, do you have money? Do you have money? No, no, it's down here. Do you like me? You, <laughs> you do not like me. Alright, let's send you a gift. Hello, there we go. All right, unpause. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh, Jesus, things keep popping. There we go, sieges. All right, all right, you guys combine your army onto boat. Go to there. Combine your armies on your boat. Go to there. You go to there. You go away. Perfect. Where's you? Oh my god, is he actually taking the time to siege my land over there? You son of a bitch. Ah, uh, I thought you were gonna go- Oh wait! <gasps> he has a different target this time! Last time, before the- before everything turned, he was coming towards Spoleto! Damn it, the timelines have changed! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't even think about that, I was gathering everyone here for Spoleto, assuming it would be the same as last time. But no! No, this time he's going... to Barcelona. Ah, crap. I'll actually have to get my boats together to get there quickly. Well, once everyone's organized, we'll get those all out, and we should be fine. We should be fine. That's not going to take much. Let's actually get all of you to Capua. Perfect. How's this going? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> all right. We'll be fine in this war. But damn, I didn't realize that he would change his, his tact. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> ah, we'll still kill him. He's got nothing compared to us. Oh, Pope, you and your wars over there. of Your wars of anti-papalness. Oh, what is this? Has come to you with a suggestion. My lord, it is my opinion that Adam Mara would make an excellent military commander. Oh, okay. Very, very, very well? Just a commander or, you know, here. No, he doesn't mention Marshall. 
Yeah, we'll go from here. Cool. Perfect. Okay, well, all right, we got the boats, we got the boats, we got boats. I'm gonna need a few more boats here. Actually, we need like two more boats, but we're gonna get more than two boats. Lovely. <laughs> all right, how many in Amalfi? Ah, crap, yeah, because I already raised them with that one. All right, well, we have to get your boats from here and your boats from here. That is not enough. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, send them around. And yeah, where else to send my boats from? Yeah, I'll get these boats over here. Wow, you really didn't have many boats. Nor did you. 30, 60s, no, we need a lot more boats. You, two knees. I didn't get your boats. You go to here. You, I didn't get your boats either. Go to here. That should be enough, I think. And also, we're now at the half hour mark, even though we did kind of have a little weird thing with everything. But uh, yeah, we should be good to go for today. Now we have gotten back to roughly where we were, though slightly different timeline now that they're attacking this, but we'll be perfectly fine with putting down this host army. They'll die quick. And I also just realized we have 100% war score here. So let's end this. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Perfect. All right, well, we have beaten that war. Can I go to war for that one too? <laughs> Do we have a claim for that one still? Oh boy. Ona is currently revolting against. Oh god, no. No. Is that the only claims I have? Damn. I was hoping I could help them take that county too. But now, my son and his wife have their own county. Beautiful. All right, well, these mercenaries, well, they might as well be used. So, downward ho. And yeah, that's going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course you do come back for the next episode when we'll be doing things. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.